Hey kids, welcome to lesson two, array elements, exercise number five. Let's see what we have to do today. This program contains a mountain array of the top five highest mountains in the world and the height array, which contains the height of each mountain in feet in order. In worldmountains.java, we're gonna write the method print mountain heights. We're gonna traverse the mountains in heights array using a while loop to create and return mountain string. The mountain string should contain each mountain name in height on a new line. Well, then in my console, we're going to call the print mountain height method and print results. Should look something like this. And as always, kids, if you're curious about the data set, click here, learn where your data is coming from. Again, as long as we take this in smaller steps, it's not too bad. Let's look at our code before we get started. We have two arrays, mountain and height. These are our mountains and in height and feet. Looks like we're instantiating a new mountain worlds object called top five, and it has two parameters, mountains and height. In world mountains, we have two private arrays, names and height. We have one constructor that takes two parameters. Both of them are arrays, name and height. We have a get method, which gets names and a get method that gets heights. And looks like down here, print mountain heights. This is where you have to do number one and finish this off. And this isn't too bad. We can really go through here and this is really giving us a good idea what to do. We have to traverse, that means we need a while loop through both the mountain and height. And we need to create a separate string called mountain string, which is gonna store that information. I see here we have mountain string already declared and we're returning it. So all we really need to do is to write that traversal or while loop on what we need. So let's start off. We'll do while and we need our curly braces. And we need to look through the entire array. It really doesn't matter which one because they are both the same amount. So we'll look through the names one. We are gonna do index is less than the names dot length. Now remember, Whenever we do this, we also need to create an integer to hold our index, which is going to be equal to zero. Now, as we go along, we want stuff added to our mountain string. That's what we're returning. I'm just gonna copy this because I know I'm gonna spell it wrong, kids. And what we wanna do is we wanna add, and we could say equal mountain plus but a quicker way we learn kids, remember, is plus equal. And what do we want to add to the string? Well, we want the names. And what name do we want? We just can't print all the names, right? So we're going to print the name at index plus, oops, plus, we're going to do Height, Ooh, that did need that quote. Height, and then we'll finish off our quote there. And then we're gonna have to get the height from our array. Which height do we want? Well, we just can't call height, so we have to call each individual index because that's why we have a while loop. And then we're going to do feet. And I'm real into my escape characters lately, kids, so I'm going to use that as well. That'll take us through index zero. How do we get to the next index? Well, we're going to write index plus plus. And remember, kids, that's the same way of saying index equals index plus one. That should go through each of the names array and at each one, it's gonna stop at zero for names and zero for height. And it should store those 
under mountain string. And then I'm gonna call mountain string and I have both of those variables stored there under this sentence. Let's go to my console and print off our mountain height. And we're gonna call this method to print this off. And we just can't call top five print mountain height because that's gonna to point to an object. So what we're gonna to have to do is we're going to save this as a variable, just like we did in exercise four, and then print off that variable. That means I need a string, and I'm gonna call this mountains info, and that's gonna be equal to my top five object that I created above, and now I'm gonna call that print mountain heights method that I wrote earlier. That's going to create the string. Now I need to print that string off. So we got to go system.out.println and we're going to print off now that variable we just created, mountains info. Don't forget your semicolon. Make sure those are spelled right. I think that's spelled right. We look pretty good. When I hit run, I should get this sentence printed off one, two, three, four, five times. It should say Mount Everest, height 29,000, 29 feet. Well, let's see if we're right, kids. Oh, what's our spelling error? Looks like I forgot my semicolon after my index plus plus. Too busy showing off, kids. Let's hit run, see if we're good. Looks like we forgot another semicolon. Should start reminding you about that, kids. All right, third time's a charm. Well, let's see if we're right. Well, looks like I got another spelling error in here, kids. We got a rogue character. I can't believe I didn't catch that. You know what they say, fourth time's a charm. Let's see if we're right. Saying it can't find height. Kids, it's called heights. Again, didn't check my spelling. Fifth time's a charm. Ooh, finally, kids, I was getting worried there. And now we have our arrays printed off. And you can see they line up perfectly. So minus except for a mess of a variable statement that I created, which included rogue characters, spelling errors, and a missing semicolon, everything worked pretty good. Key takeaway from this lesson, kids, is understanding how we can traverse through a array and print off the objects index by index. And this really brings out the power of computer science. You can start stacking the data, pulling the data together, and organizing it in different ways. And this is just the start of it. We're going to learn how to look and filter this data much better as we go along. But hopefully, kids, this video helped you understand array elements and how to traverse through them. As always, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.